Well, evidently that uh, Pope John Paul brought their JVs today so that the green team we see on the near bench here is a combination of Sturgis West and Pope John Paul. So there will be a JV girls game afterward, and perhaps that's why they want to dress and use all these players, like you mentioned, even the ones who missed over vacation. Yeah, it, you want to get some games in. So th this way, hey, you know, you got a varsity game in, and, and hopefully we can pull a victory, get on the uh, stat sheet, and then let the JVs play a full game against more competitive type situations. So it's always good. When anybody comes to the island, you want to accommodate them. You want to play games. So it looks like we have a penalty shot here from the 8-meter stripe. All right, I can't really make out a number there. Can you tell who's stepping up to take the shot for the Lady Whalers? Uh, let's see. Ten. Shot score! Number ten in my program is Samantha Freed. So Sam uh, puts it home, and uh, Nantucket's on the board. And uh, that's a tough shot to stop. You know, every time I see it being lined up either far or against you, I always say the, the shooter really has the advantage. And uh, Samantha took a nice shot there and uh, gets Nantucket on the board very quickly here at the, uh, about the 203 mark. So Sam Freed got Nantucket on the board and here come the Lady Whalers on a fast break right down the middle. And it looked like Frances Stedman there with the ball, yep. Yeah, she was walking right in, just, just the uh, dropping the ball there. I think it got knocked away from her. Costa Francis, I think, is only a freshman there. She's going to Here's be Olivia Slade with the ball in the middle. Showing good stick skills there, changing hands with the ball. Can't connect back there with Sam Freed. Freed now up with it, drives the crease, feeds. Francis Stedman can't get her stick to the ball. It's loose on the ground here, near side. Oh, and that's a nice check there by number one, Michelle Colpitz there to knock the ball out of the player's stick. And in on goal number 31, shoots and scores. Goal for Madison Randall. Whalers take a 2-0 lead here, 22-02. So barely three minutes into the game, Dick, and the Whalers up 2-0. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's what the, the uh, Nantucket wants. Some offense and quickly, and they get it right here. And uh, that goal... Brought to us by Don Allen Ford. New and used vehicles on sale at Don Allen Ford. Up and coming face off. Albert G. Brock Insurance wants to wish each and every student the very best school year. Brock Insurance is here to provide you with all your insurance needs. Go Whalers. Whalers dominating the midfield here. They have the lion's share of the possession. There's a nice little fast break. Here's Freed again. And a goalie gets another save. That's two saves I've got for the keeper so far. Looks like she's going to be busy today, Dick. Yeah, that was a good save, too. And here goes Sturgis with the ball is number 47. I've got her as Rachel Wallman. Fiddling and diddling in the middle there. Oh, intercepted. Nice place by Michelle Colpitz there to make the interception. This is Tia Salter, is that who that is, 16? I don't know Tia. Yeah. Nice play to clear it up the length of the field and then get it to the attack. 37, I don't have a 37, Dick. Do you have a 37? No, I'm, I don't have one on my roster either. Raph, who's 37? 37. Kavia. Tavio Keith, thank you. Yep. Who's that shot? I didn't see who scored that one. I Did think you, it was Sean? Sam Freed again. Did you see it, Sean? Was it? Sam Freed. That's two for Sam. Time yeah, of the goal 2020. Yeah, so Sam, Sam, Sam Freed's got, got two second. of the three early goals here. Win the draw, get the ball swinging, let's see some good movement. Well, Nantucket's uh, going to play a JV game after that, but we might see a lot of JVs get into this game here. As uh, If the score keeps mounting up uh, as it is, all Nantucket here early.
That goal brought to us by Nantucket Island Pharmacies. We've got you covered in town and out of town. In town, 45 Main Street, out of town, 122 Pleasant Street. Both pharmacies offer you prescriptions, nutritions, beauty products, health age, qualified knowledgeable staffs at both locations. Sam Free with a nice pass out front to Michelle Colpitz. Can't control. Ball goes outside the box. Possession stays with Nantucket. Well, I like the new setup, Jeremiah, with the teams over here on our side. You know, I just yell right down. Raphael gave us the number. And, uh, this well, was, necessity's uh, the mother of invention, right, the, Dick? The new, the new situation here, getting the teams over this side of the field, away from the fans, which logically that could have been done a long time ago. Well, we noticed this year in the Whalers basketball that no fans were allowed to sit behind the, the home bench. The home and, bench, and, uh, yeah. You know, as a coach, I, I don't mind that, honestly, Dick. You know, there's a lot of experts out there that know a lot more than the coach, that's for sure. And it, it's, yeah, and, and sometimes a parent is just too enthusiastic and says something that they really don't want you to hear. Sure. But they're so close, you do hear it. Right. And it ca that causes a problem. Sometimes they're just talking to themselves, like saying, whoa, what a crazy move that was, you know? And they're frustrated with themselves, they're frustrated with their kid. But you as a coach, you don't have to hear that. And if you're that close, the coach does hear it. Exactly. You know? And conversely to that, Dick, you don't want the students and the players looking to the stands all the time to see what their parents think or what their parents say. Well, you want them listening to you as the coach and staying you know, mentally focused with the rest of the team. A lot of, a lot of kids at all levels sometimes say they play better on the road because they're not looking over their shoulder. They know mom and dad might be there, especially if they're in college. Or, right, so, right. But they don't know where mom and dad is. They're not sitting right behind them on the bench, you know. <laughs> There's Olivia Slade, drives all the way to the net, shoots it wide. Nice draw, nice drive by Olivia. She's, she's been the best player. I've, this is the third game I've seen. She's been the best player in, in the first two games. In, uh, and only a sophomore, too, so she has a bright future here for the Lady Whalers. I remember Olivia came to my camp years and years ago, back when she was in middle school. Now Sturgis West, this is the new, the new Sturgis, right? The, the established Sturgis, I think they call Sturgis East now. Uh -huh. so, so, Free with a shot wide. Is that the campus right on Main Street there in Hyannis? That's the Sturgis. That's the old Sturgis. This okay. Sturgis West now is down past uh, what, the Melody, High, Melody down Tents, way? down towards the Melody Tent area. Uh -huh. And, you know, I, I was talking to one of the Sturgis coaches, I think they were in basketball season. I think it was a, a girls game. And I said, this is, gonna, this is gonna be a natural rivalry. You know, he was the old Sturgis and talking about the new Sturgis. And he says, well, we don't want it to be. And I'm saying to myself, what do you mean you don't want it to be? Sturgis against Sturgis is gonna be a rivalry. <laughs> so now let me get this straight. There's a Sturgis East and a Sturgis West, and yes. there's still an original Sturgis. No. Okay. No. The Sturgis, the original Sturgis has been changed to East. Oh, great save there. Let me mention that goaltender's name there. She is... Kelly stuck. She's got three big saves already. Could easily be five or six to nothing, Dick. Yeah, that's she's a she's a good good goalkeeper, and that's that's something that a, a team. And give her another save. Yeah. She stops. Uh, she stops Olivia Slade again. That's something that a, a team like this learns. A goalie learns because they get so many shots at them. They 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 just naturally get better. There's a shot wide by Michelle Colpitz. Island Variety, Daffodil Weekend. Go buy Island Variety. Pick up all your potty items for Daffodil Weekend. Five Freedom Square, Island Variety. Looks like it could be good weather for the big Daffodil festivities. Oh, and there's Slade with a drive and a shot. Nice play, Olivia. Yeah, she, uh, she did what she wanted to do there. That goal brought to us by Nantucket Airlines. We're all about the islands. Call now for reservations, 228-6234. Face-off coming up, brought to us by Maddock Marine. Five-star rating, six years in a row. Maddock Marine, a proud sponsor of Lady Wheel of Sports. Now, you're, you're doing your normal thing, Daffodil Weekend. Heading get out off, of town. Heading off the island. Exactly. The place must be pretty empty because they're full coming over. So you, you must get a nice easy seat there. Go back and, and uh, nobody around you bothering you. And, well, a friend uh, of mine offered me a ticket to the Celtics game on Friday night. And I think that I, I have to say yes to that. And of course, 
My beloved Astros are at Fenway this weekend, and they're not in last place in the American League West, I'll have you know, Dick. That's the Twins. The Twins are in last place, so... I'm rooting for Houston. I won't be rooting for them this weekend. I'll have to right, the Red right. Sox. Now, you, have a, you sort of have a torn there, right? I Red do. Red Sox, Houston. Oh, another good save there. You know what? I was considering bringing my Red Sox hat to go along with my Astros hat and changing hats every Ch half change inning. Change hats every half inning? That would be kind of nice. That would I don't be know. cool. I might get some funny looks, probably <laughs> especially from my wife. But I haven't been to Fenway in a few years. Looking forward to it. Did not want to be at that game last night. What was it? Oh, horrible. 30-something degrees, drizzling the whole game, and they lost 13 or 14 to nothing. 13 to nothing. It was, a, it was a horrible night for Boston sports, you know. Sure uh, was. Bruins zero, got pounded. Zero and three. That, you know, that's Celtics stunk down in New York City. The first thing I, I do in the morning, I get my globe delivered at my house by 7 o'clock, and I, I have the sports section out about 7.10 with my coffee. And this morning, I just didn't go near it. It took me... It took me a couple hours to go near the sports. I didn't, didn't want to open it. There was well, nothing in there I wanted to see. I thought you were going to say by 7.10 you had it, and by 7.15 it was in the garbage can. <laughs> I did read a good article on the uh, up-and-coming draft. It is a shot, a little bit wide by uh, Sturgis. Football draft, NFL draft is this weekend. When is it? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow. We're here on Wednesday. You're watching this Thursday night. Don't change the channel. But the draft is going on, I believe, on ESPN starting tomorrow night. Patriots got a one 20 choice. Something, 20 23rd. I have a feeling. I have a feeling they'll, uh, they'll, they'll move trade it. it. I think so. They only they only got five choices because of Slade again walks right in and buries it in the back of the net to make it 5-0 here. They only got they only got. Three, uh, five choices, because three or four of them are traded away for the Albert Hainsworth deal, the oh, Chad right, Ochinkos right. deal, and the uh, Talib, uh, Ali trade, Talib there. trade last year. That's the only one that worked out of the three trades. Right. So, But now they're paying for it in this draft. Uh, Belichick's theory is he might be able to get rid of that number one for like three. And the, the theory there is, you know, instead of paying the number one money, you can get three guys and pay those three guys less money because the way the tiers are set up you, you got to pay them you draft somebody 23rd there's no bargaining you got to give them x amount of dollars sure you know? sure oh a good save this goalie's gonna want the game film dick she's playing great today yeah we, we, we can mention it to them that uh if you're Kelly's watching this game and you want to see it anytime just go to genotv.com genotv.com scroll over to girls across and you can find this game and all the other Great games we did this. Girls across, boys across. We haven't done any baseball, softball yet. Softball has not had a home game yet. They haven't. They were supposed to open yesterday, but all that rain canceled that. Right. I believe we're going to do the Saddy game. They got a doubleheader against Fenwick. And uh, baseball, we, we got to get a, a, a baseball game. They, they're playing uh, next week, so we'll try to get a baseball game on our schedule, too. Well, I know we're fortunate to get today's game in. Uh Boats were canceled this morning. I know the uh, middle school Spanish club trip up to Boston was canceled. There were no boats. So I think the Lady Whalers are happy to get this game in, especially here now with a 5-0 lead halfway through the first. Yeah, the, uh, I, I guess it was, what, the first two boats were, were canceled, and then the wind died down. And now the wind has sort of picked up a little this afternoon, too, so it's kind of kind of strange. Awful windy winter, probably one of the windiest winters we've had in a while. All right, Chris trying to figure out the call down there. Chris is doing a good job down here. Called into duty. He uh, he called me yesterday afternoon, just about this time, telling me that uh, AD Chris Murray begged him to officiate today's game because they couldn't get officials over here. And uh, he said okay, and he called me. And then again, I'm thankful that you could jump in and fill in for him up here today. All right, Whalers in possession. Tavia with the ball. Sam Freed behind the net. Nice pass. Oh, that's oh, a great play. Tia Salter. Tia Salter with an assist from Sam Freed makes it 6 0 at 11 37. Beautiful play. Hudley's Pub, there's nothing better than wings of beverage and lacrosse at the fairgrounds. Pudley's Pub. Check out Pudley's 15 HD TVs for Celtics playoff games. 
Bruins winding down, I think, three more regular season games. They'll start the playoffs. And, of course, Red Sox finishing up today with Oakland. They're starting just about right now in uh, the big weekend series against Jeremiah's beloved Houston Astros. Oh, there's a shot, a lefty shot and a goal by Francis Stedman. She's only a freshman. She's going to be a good one. 7-0 at 11.25, barely 12 seconds after the other goal, Dick. Francis Stedman is going to be a good player, only a freshman, and she does a lot of things good out there. Killing Real Estate, Robert Young, give him a call, 325-1571 for all your vacation and purchases of Nantucket Homes. Sea Grill, where all the locals go for great fish and excellent sea grill, excellent seafood at the Sea Grill. Sean, do you recognize 45? She just ran on. She's on offense down there right in the middle. I don't, I don't have a number for her. Let me see. Um, and a save for Freed. Willow Kane, 45. Thank you. So Coach Tash making some good substitution here, using her bench. Getting everybody into the action. 42's Dakota Dragon fighting for it out in the corner. Never mind those out of bounds lines in girls lacrosse, Dick. No, you just play anywhere. I remember playing in college and we'd watch a girls game, the ball would go like down the road and they'd be off chasing it. <laughs> I seen a girl get an assist from the cemetery once. I believe you. <laughs> No boundaries. Oh, and another save. This goalie's on fire, Dick. We've got seven saves for her already. Up. Oh, Spoke too Sam soon. Freed. Sam Freed again. Another one for Freed. She's on a hat trick. Time of the goal, 10-15, makes it 8-0. That goal brought to us by Santos Rubbish Remover. We clean up the islands. Go Will is Santos. Time out on the field, 10-15 uh, to go in the first half to score 8-0, your Lady Whalers in front. Are we still on time or just go off? Let's stop it. One, two, three! All right, so a little time out there, Jeremiah, but uh, I think uh, this is certainly all wheelers, and, you know, we're talking about a JV game coming up yet, but a lot of the JVs are going to get a lot of playing time in this one, which is not a bad thing, not a bad thing. Well, like you said, I think as much as it's a lopsided game, it really will benefit our Lady Whalers here to get off the, uh, off the mark here, get their first win of the season, get some confidence going. Sturgis is a first-year varsity program. Their coaches are Tanya Weimer and Elise Edmondson. And uh, this is their first year as a varsity program, Dick. I'm going to give you a little quiz here, Jeremiah. I'm going to read some names. Wait a minute. School's out. <laughs> I left about 20 minutes ago from school. All right, what's the quiz, Dick? I'm going to read you some names. Oh, goal. they're on the board. And 20. a shot score by number 23. Give that goal to... Do I have a 23? I don't have a 23, Dick. Well, give that goal to number 23. Oh, there she is, Gabrielle Healy. As soon as you feel... What do you, what do you think I'm talking about? Let me know. Blaine Neal. Connor Jackson. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful play. The goal goes to 38 from 16. So the wheels pouring it on here. No trouble at all on the offense, bringing it right in, getting quick goals. And I don't have a 16. The assist went to Tia Salter, but I, have a, I don't have a 38. Who's, who's 38, Coach? Elizabeth Thank you. Elizabeth Polveri. So give Elizabeth the goal. 
And that goal brought to us by Joe Rapaki, CPA. Small firm, big difference. Helping self-employed people on Nantucket with their taxes for over 15 years. Give Joe a call, 228-9090. All right, I'll go back to those names. All I right. gave you Blaine, Neil, Connor Jackson. I'll add another one to the list. Bill Hall. Chris Smith. Matt Fox. Mike Burns. Mike Burns was a soccer player for the New England Revolution. Todd Walker. Hunter Jones, Rich Hall, Jay Payton. How about a clue, Dick? I, I, Jason Rep, Rep, Repco. I'm out in the left field here. You got to give Phil me a clue. Phil Seibel. This one here should give it to you. Jonathan Van Every. All those guys, believe it or not, and I, and I picked out, I picked, uh, out the, the hottest ones, Nashie. I noticed the most obscure names that you could come up with. All of those. Okay, I'll give you an easy one now. I'll give you an easy one. Javi Lopez. Brandon Moss. Okay. Ramon Ramirez. J.C. Romero. All right, well. Coco you, Crisp. All right, Oakland Ryan, Athletics. Huh? Oakland Athletics. All those names I read to you, Jeremiah, all played to sellouts. In the last 10 seasons at Fenway Park, 257 Ball players wore Red Sox uniforms during those 10 years, and, and, and I picked out the obscure. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> well, if you wanted, if your intention was to stump the chump, you certainly succeeded, Dick. But I, I have all 257 here. The Globe did a nice little sprint on it the other day. I have all 257 names here, and as I was going through them, you know, the Manny Ramirez is there, and, yeah. and uh, you know, other you know, Dusty Brown, Andrew Miller. I mean, then that's so honestly Pena. now, Mr. Herman, how many of those 257 did you recognize? Well, all the ones I wrote down, I didn't recognize. Thank you very much. <laughs> so if you were reading them to me, I would have had the same response. I don't know who they were. <laughs> a couple of them sort of rang a bell towards the end. The Van Emery, I would have thought about it for a while and said, I think he played for the Reds. I'm, you know, maybe he played for the Reds. Maybe. Ouch. Well, you, had, you had Mike Burns playing soccer. I, I know Mike Burns, what, the town planner here, too. He used, to be, he used to be our cameraman here for football about seven or eight years ago. All right, well, Michelle Kolpitz just took a shot right in the gut. She went down, but she looks like she's back up and okay. You know, talking about the, the, uh, the sellout streak ending, I think it ended a week ago Thursday night. I mean, I, I had that Red Sox game on for a little bit last night, and I don't know what the, I didn't even look at the paper today, as I said, the sports section, but I have to go look at it and see what the announced attendance for last night is. I mean, they didn't, they, they had less than 10,000 there in the it second looked, or third Yeah, inning. right, it looked like a game at the old Toronto Stadium or down in Miami or whatever. But I, I can remember when I was a kid, it was like that for many years, you uh -huh. know, you could just walk, we, we never used to buy, uh, we could buy standing room tickets when I was sure. a kid for like 75 cents. You could get into bleachers for 50 cents, but you, you were locked into the bleachers. You couldn't pass through like you can now. Right. So you used to buy the standing room tickets for 75 cents. And then go find a good and seat. And then go find a good, good seat, yeah. What can you get for 75 cents now, Dick? Gee. You can't even get a cup of coffee for that. You can't even get a cup of coffee. Maybe, maybe someplace there is a cup of coffee for 75 cents, but not the average price. Now, the, 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 the average good deals are like 99 cents, right? All right, pay no attention, viewers, to that moving picture. Our, our intrepid cameraman here is trying to make sure the camera doesn't fall out the window. If anything starts to fall, Sean, I'm going to catch the camera, so you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the ball's back in play. Up with it is number 21 for Sturgis. Her name is Amanda Barnati. And Dick, I know one of your pet peeves. These names are listed in alphabetical order alphabetical and not order. numerical order. Yeah, oh, that drives me crazy. I mean, as a, as a uh, school teacher, alphabetical order is the way to go. But as a sports roster, alphabetical order is not the way to go. Well, the teacher had to pull the, I mean, the, the coach had to pull the roster out of her bag of papers that she was grading on the boat. So, so maybe she's a... Still in her teacher mode and not in her coach mode. Oh, it is a nice shot. That shot was a good wild. shot. Yeah. Went wide. Good pass there by the uh, the incoming uh, 
Sturgis player put it right on the stick, but 47 uh, didn't get off the shot she wanted. Nice. Up with the play is goalkeeper Kate Freed. Nice pass. Stedman's running well. Thirty-eight. Elizabeth Paul Very up with it. Over to Isabella Day. Where's is that Isabella or is that Mia Salverio? I think that is. It is Isabella? I think so. I Another see. new number coming in here right in front of us, 37. Looks like Tavia. Tavia. Here's Olivia Slade, comes back to her right. Gets it behind. Isabella Day turns the corner, goes in. Shoots and scores. Give her the goal. Time of the goal, 251. Makes it 10 to 1. Your Lady Whalers. Yeah, the Day goal, unassisted. Goalkeep had a uh, piece of that one, Jeremiah, and I think it just dropped down and dribbled in. Anytime the goalkeeper is looking for the ball, you know she's in trouble. That goal brought to us by the Inquirer and Mirror, Nantucket's newspaper since 1821. For Nantucket's news, information, and sports, the Inquirer and Mirror covers it all. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, Jeremiah, or uh, Dean Geddes, the old sports writer, is back. I see him down there patrolling the sidelines with his pencil and pad. He, he's back. He's back on the island about a week now. He was here at last week's game, and uh, be hanging around again through next December. So he. Uh, oh, good. He does a good job following the Whalers sports teams and writes a good column. So he gets out of here for the winter, heads down to Florida, but uh, back here for the. Uh, Rest of the spring season and the fall season. Well, sounds it's, like a smart kid too. <laughs> and the summer season. <laughs> the, the summer season of sports is uh, a little bit different from uh, the other three seasons. I guess a few golf tournaments going on. Right. You got the Jetties volleyball tournament. Few, few uh, sandcastle contests. Few boat, few, uh, boat regattas and right, races. Right, fishing and so derbies. Fun. Fishing so. Uh, there is sports going on. He even pick up a little bit of tennis. But I haven't uh, seen him out there covering the Skinners Open, though. No, that's that would be a good one to cover, right? <laughs> All right, winding down. We're under two minutes to go in the half. Ten to one here. Sturgis struggling. Whalers can. Oh, it looked like she got a piece of it, but it finds the back of the net. Yeah. Give the goal to Madison Randall. That looked like it hit the uh, right in the uh, chest pad there, and bounced over to my. I thought I I thought she had to save, but somehow yeah. it got over her shoulder, slid right up and in. So the lady will was working here on all cylinders, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the starters are already sitting down, Jeremiah. So a lot of these girls playing right now will also be playing in the second game. A uh, JV game. Olivia Slade carries it in, goes behind the net. Passes it to Elizabeth Paul Verry. She looks, looks. Oh, here comes somebody in on the back door. Intercepted. Olivia controls the ground ball. Nice job. One thing about a new school is that the sport is probably new to a lot of the girls. A lot of these girls sure. playing, playing have probably never played the game before. This is their first year playing. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a game that... Shot score, Kelly Shelly Colpitz, unassisted. Time of the goal, 48 seconds. It's going to make it 12 to 1 going into the half. 
That goal brought to us by Island Lumber. Island Lumber, one Popus Road, go wheelers. Rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. Furry Friends of Nantucket, we care for your furry friends with passion. Martina and Boss, pet sitting and care. Furry Friends of Nantucket. All right, Olivia on the draw, can't control the ball. Battling for it here right in the midfield. 15 seconds now left in the half. Oh, it looks like Pope John Paul JV's on the far sideline going to get changed right now. There's a shot, doesn't find the net. And that's going to do it for the end of the first half. Score on the field, your Lady Whalers 12, Sturgis West 1. We'll be back with third period, uh, second half action after this.